Hello students, welcome to Long Easy Tech. And today in my video I brought here class 8, chapter 4, which is in the chemistry, that is the metals and then metals. So here we'll discuss about the metals and then metals for class 8. Yeah. Okay, so we know that metals. Okay, so before going to metal, we have to know the elements. So elements are the pure substance, which are made up of the only one kinds of atoms you know there are many elements so far there are 180 elements so far discovered by the scientists okay and out of them 92 of the elements they are naturally occurring elements and uh, others remaining are uh, prepared by the scientists in the laboratory so first we have to know about the elements and the element only this metal and then metal included all right so elements they are a pure substance they are pure substance and made up of the only one kinds of the atoms only so examples gold aluminium iron copper etc so they are elements yeah okay now see here the atoms again we have to know atoms are the smallest particles of an element okay so an element is made up of the very tiny particles when we keep on dividing a substance or an element into a smaller and a smaller piece there comes a time that no more or is the further we cannot divide it okay and that particles it comes as the atoms by the scientists but you must keep in mind that atoms cannot be seen by naked eyes all right yeah okay so we already come to know about the elements and the atoms right so let us go to the next okay so example the gold presents only the gold atom now here will come the metals so metals are the elements which are generally solid and good conductors of heat and electricity okay they are generally solid and a good conductor of the heat and electricity examples gold aluminium iron copper etc okay so the aluminium iron copper copper you know copper where that is used for uh, say our electrical appliances and all right yeah aluminum if you go to your kitchens you may see some of the utensils they are made up of the aluminiums and all and uh, your gold ornaments okay say jewelry items okay and also they are made of the this say gold only and uh, some others are also there that is at a cheap price right then iron is the you know the backbones of the, our uh, these generations we can say right yeah so this is the metals Okay, so now we'll discuss the physical properties of the metals. Okay, so physical properties. So what we, what do you think? So I think you know this one. Metals are solids, except mercury, which is liquid at room temperature. But all other metals are solid. All right. Yeah, and uh, only the mercury is the liquid, which is room at room temperature. Okay, and. Uh, now metals are the good conductors of the heat and the electricity. Okay, they are good conductor of the heat and electricity. And the third point is metal are sonorous. Okay, sonorous is nothing that is the property of the metal. Okay, which produce a ringing sound when we hit it or when we knock it. Okay, so example like the school band. Yeah, we'll discuss this further. Okay, so we'll go to the properties number four okay metals are ductiles ductile is nothing that is the properties of the metal which can be drawn into the long wire like say copper wire okay so copper wire we use right by drawing to do the a long wire right yeah. that property is called ductile and now metals are the malleables malleable is nothing it is the properties of the metal which can be beaten into thin sheets okay and next comes the metals are hard except sodium which is soft okay most of the metals are the, okay hard except sodium which is soft okay now seven the metals have the high density okay the density of the metal is high okay that's why generally the all most of the metals they shrink okay in the water all right yeah and number eight points they are lustrous lustrous is the properties of the metal 
we will skip assigning appearance. Okay, so that is illustrious. Okay, well, in the details we'll discuss now. So, yeah. Okay, so the malleables is the properties. Okay, malleability also we can say is the property of the matter which can be fitted into tin sheet. Okay, it's called malleables. Okay, when we hammer it, we can beat. For example, like the here, you know, our knife, our dow, and all it's made from the irons, right? So by hitting, when we hit it, and uh, after then we beat it with a uh, hammer, and all then we make into different desired shapes, right? So that is malleables. Or also, whatever the appearances match. So that's by beating uh, this metals, you know. Wrappers, okay, let's say the switch wrappers inside, you can see there is aluminum foil, right? So that is the malleable zone, you know. The goal is the most malleable, okay. The goal is the most malleable metals, okay. But the price of the goal is very high, that's why we don't use, okay, right? Okay, so now we'll discuss about the another topic that is the ductile or ductility is the properties of the metal which can be drawn into the long wear it's called ductile okay so metal can be drawn into long wear okay so that property is called ductility that's right and here also the gold is the most ductile metal okay yeah gold is the most ductile metals uh, yeah and now comes to the sonorous is the properties of the metal which give a ringing sound when we hit okay okay it's called sonorous when we hammered it then it produced a ringing sound and that is called as a sonorous okay like the school bell okay our school bells give a sound when we hit okay it's not s-e-a-t okay it should be s-i-t okay spelling mistakes sorry for that okay yeah this is a sonorous property oh yeah let's see the lustrous Lustrous, as I told you, most of the metal are lustrous. Okay, so here are the properties of the metal. Okay, so we have a signing appearance, it's called lustrous. Okay, you have seen that most of the metals they are lustrous. Even the iron also, this is the signing appearance only, right? And when we, uh, when it's rusted at a time, only brown color is developed on the sur its surface. Okay. And you must know that here the gold ornaments, platinum, silver, and all they are precious metal and they are high in price, right? The gold is price is very high, right? And platinum and all. Why? Because they are lustrous, they have a signing appearance, and also they do not rust or they do not corrode at any conditions. Okay, so that's why the price of them is very high and they are used to make our jewelry items precious let's say jewelry uh, is a fascinating thing so right yeah, yeah. yeah this is about the lustrous the properties of the metal okay so now we will go to the one questions why metals are good conductors of electricity but non metals are not we are not yet discussed about the metal but still here in relation with the metal we can give metals do conduct electricity in that I have given you in the property why so that is questions okay so that means that in the plastic uh, if you try to connect then the, it doesn't con conduct electricity right and uh, you see if we connect with an iron bar okay and when we pass current then the current get fast right so that is why that is how that's only we have to discuss here I'm sure is that Metals are good conductors of electricity due to the presence of the free electrons. Okay, but then metals do not have free electrons. Okay, so they are insulators. Insulator or they say non conductor we can say. Inside the metals, some electrons, the free electrons, electrons are negatively charged particles. Okay, they are negatively charged particles which are present inside these. That's why they do conduct. The negative charge electrons, okay, they allow the charge to pass through it, okay. So that's why they can develop city. Got okay. So now here are the chemical properties of the metals. 
is one of the very important topic here. Chemical properties first by metals break with oxidants to form metallic oxide, which are basic in nature. Okay, metal do react with oxidants. Okay, and they form their oxides, and uh, the properties of that oxides are basic in nature. Basic in nature. Okay, acid, base. That, that is the basic in nature. That is the base. They are uh, the major in gas. Okay, so that's what we'll discuss in another chapter and all. Yeah, an example like the magnesium react with oxygen to form magnesium oxides (MgO). Another example here, the calcium is also a metal to react with oxygen. Okay, to form the calcium oxide. Okay, so here, but on important point, aluminium react with oxygen to form aluminium. Sides. Okay, but which is an important in nature. Okay, which possesses the properties of both acidic and basic. You see here, this aluminium, they do react with oxygen. Aluminium is also metal, but this is an exception. Okay, so aluminium oxide is formed, but it is not in the basic property or also acidic property, but it possesses the amphoteric. Amphoteric is the properties of the substance which possess both the properties of the acid and basic. Okay, acidic and basic properties possess both. So that's called as the amphoteric in nature. Okay, so that is okay. And the second point highly reactive metals react with hydrogens to form the metal hydride. Not all the metals, only the most reactive metals like what that is sodium potassium and all they are our most reactive metals For example here sodium react with hydrogen to form sodium hydride and adds calcium to its react with hydrogen to form calcium hydride here adds two the metal hydrides readily react again this hydride again comes and reacts with the water again to form their hydroxide they again form their hydroxide Okay, that's base. Sodium hydrides react with water to form sodium hydroxide, which is the base. Okay, so in the number terms, metal reacts with water to form their hydroxide and oxides. Okay, so metal do react with water, but it is not at all similar. Okay, because the metals are again we can divide into the highly reactive metal middle reactive metals and the less reactive metals okay so let us see now first one highly reactive metals like sodium and potassium react with water to form their hydroxides and hydrogen gas with heat that is some amount of heat also produce okay that's why hydrogen burns hydrogen gas fire okay when we throw in the water so example sodium they react with water to form sodium hydroxide hydrogen and heat so you know the heat produced in this reaction is sufficient enough to catch fire to start a fire this uh, hydrogen gas you know hydrogen is a very combustible okay gases and uh, the heat produced in this reaction even can catch can start the fire of this hydrogen that's why in the lab it will produce a popping sound like this okay so popping sound will produce when we do we undergo the experiments okay yeah see this is part number one and see here the questions come the sodium and answer also sodium is vigorously react with water to keep their hydroxide hydrogen gas and heat so the heat produced is sufficient enough to catch fire the hydrogen gas so sodium metal is stored under kerosene to prevent the reactions with the water and air okay automatically it gets reacts with this water and uh, air and uh, it produced sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas and heat so that heat make it to catch fire the hydrogen so we, we throw the sodium to the water that it catch fire okay so in relation with this one there is the one very interesting uh, story there so before in the olden time those musicians or the, those people who try to spread the religion's points of view when they come to the different places, okay, then the, they try to so just like in the form of music, they throw the sodium metals above the water and it will catch fire. 
that means that the people will think that they are just like the gods, the devotees of the gods or whatever. So like that also people will try to make a fool. Okay, so like that also it happened and also many chairmen and all they used all these things. Okay, so this is another concept. Okay, so yeah, okay now in the D, the calcium and magnesium reacts with water on heating to form their hydroxide and uh, hydrogen gas okay calcium and magnesium uh, yeah calcium react with hydro uh, water to form calcium hydroxide which is also a base and along with the hydrogen gas is produced and here are the magnesium magnesium react with water to form magnesium hydroxide and the hydrogen gas yeah and see here are the metals like aluminium okay the zinc iron reacts with water okay only when steam is passed over heated okay over heated metals okay so aluminum react with water to form aluminum oxide and uh, hydrogen that is the important nature right but it doesn't react at a normal condition it do react at the steam is passed over the heated metals when the metal is heated and there we pass the water called water all right so aluminum is an example good point yeah and uh, d here the metals like copper silver gold and platinum do not react with uh, water under any condition at any condition they do not react that's why they are species or rare metals you can call it right yeah and number four this is the last point for the chemical properties of the metals metal react with acids to form metallic salts and hydrogen gas okay they do react and they form the metallic salts and the hydrogen gas let's see here example sodium plus other chloric acids okay to form sodium chloride that is the salts you know and along with the hydrogen gas another zinc again here it's react with what sulfuric acid is to so form it forms zinc sulfate and so four plus Yes, it's also produced here. Okay, and uh, here this will come for the non-metals. Okay, so 